What we're doing today is we're trying to infuse and inspire the kids, get them interested in science and engineering. We brought this big rocket into school, uh, so some of the kids are going to have a look at that and have a sort of interact with that. And we've also got some uh, rocket building activities as well, where the kids will be making their own rockets and experimenting with the laws of Newton and, uh, and getting these things up there and bringing them back. Um, but it's also curriculum linked, so this is going to back up and reinforce what uh, the kids are being taught already at school. We need more scientists and engineers, so hopefully this will inspire a few of them uh, and help make that happen. Steve and Claire have brought in some artefacts, um, some of which are, are actually from outer space. So we have meteorites and tektites and uh, also pieces of um, various rockets that they've launched over the last few years. Um, space food, which um, is quite interesting. And then when we come into the classroom, the children actually build their own rocket. We give them a step-by-step -step instructions on how to build their rocket. So the children had some um, paper and glue and scissors and they had to roll their own rocket and add fins and a nose piece on top and sellotape that all together. Uh, so they got to do their independent work there to make their own rockets and put their name on, ready for when they launched and they can collect it at the end. And then they explain, we explained to them it's going to be launched with compressed air. Once they've built their rocket, they need to take it outside. It's Space Day. That means everybody has to include it because it's Space Day, like it's International Space Day. And we did a countdown and they shot them off into the sky um, with uh, different levels of success. Yeah, the top part is called the nose cone, you know, where like it points where you're going, and the bottom ones are called fins. Although this one's really quick, they don't use it for people, it's just for ground tests, as I said before. Uh, so part of our job is building and launching rockets. We do research and development in, in rocketry, but we also do a lot of educational stuff. We visit about uh, 150 schools a year, and we're very busy around this time of year, around March, because we've got National Science Week, so uh, we're booked out and we, we're going from school to school. Seven miles would be seven seconds for the rocket to go, like seven miles, which is really quick. So say if you wanted to go to Manchester or Bolton, say it was like five miles in five seconds, you would be in Bolton, which is pretty fast. The rocket behind us is a, a real rocket. It's nine metres tall. It hasn't been flown. We used it for some ground tests, and then we had a bit of problem with one of the, one of the rocket engines on it. So uh, we, we take this round to schools now. Um, so obviously we raise it up to the uh, to the vertical. We don't launch it, but again, it, it's a chance for the kids to see a real rocket. I thought it'd be a great idea for them to come into our school, um, not just inspirational, but in like an aspirational uh, look at science and and see how accessible science is. Uh, at the end of the day, we've got a, a meter tall rocket which we're going to launch. It's, it's not nothing like as big as the one behind me, but it's a metre tall, but it runs on real rocket fuel. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing a, a proper countdown and get one of the pupils to press the button. There's going to be fire, smoke, this rocket's going to go nice and high and then return on a parachute. So it's going to be a great finale uh, to the day.